Now we've got two rings. Um, this one, like I say, is the one that's going to hold the fitting either for the ceiling light or for the table light. Um, and you can see it's not completely flat, so it does curve up. Um, so it's important to know that if you're going to make a table lamp, this is going to go on the bottom of your design. So for me, if my design goes that way, this one with the carrier will go on the bottom. And this plain circular ring will go on the top. Now, if you're gonna make a light for a ceiling fitting, it would be the opposite way around. So we're gonna turn it upside down so it goes inwards. So this would go along the top of the design and this circular plane one would go along the bottom. So it's a good idea now to think what sort of lampshade are you making? Are you making one for a table lamp or a standard lamp, which are the, uh, the same, where this ring with the carrier goes on the bottom of the design? Or are you making one for a ceiling light where this will go upside down on the top? Now, like I say, if you've chosen something like the hedgehog fabric or the bee fabric where the design is multi-directional, you don't have to worry about that. You can just make for either uh, and as you turn the lampshade upside down if you want to put it on the ceiling the pattern will remain exactly the same so um, in your box you'll have a reel of red double-sided tape so i'm going to take the little green sticker off the end what can i say so this is quite a sticky red tape you'll feel it is quite adhesive um, what I would recommend doing is first working on the one with the ring carrier. So what we're going to do is all the way along the edge, we're going to place this adhesive tape and we're going to stick it down. We're just going to go flat for now. So you can see I'm sticking it all the way along the edge. Don't worry yet about pushing down the sides. We're going to do that in a second. So again, if you go a little bit AWOL or a little bit off, you can just peel it back up and go back down again. So just run your finger along and stick it as you're going. Okay. And then once you've got to the end, you can just trim off the excess. So it doesn't matter if you have a little gap just like that. So what we're going to do then is go all the way around with our fingers and just stick it down around. It won't go all the way around. You will have a little white space just inside, which is fine. Uh, but we're just going to stick it down all the way around the shade. So just make sure it's really well stuck down. We're going from one end right to the other. And again, I might be going quite quickly, so if you need a little bit more time, you can just pause the recording. That's not a problem. Okay. And then when we've got that red tape all the way around, I'm just going to pop this to one side for the moment. I'm just going to place it face down. Okay. And I'm going to do the same for the circular ring here without the carrier on it. Again, take your time. Just make sure it's really precisely done. The more precise it's done, the better. Okay, I'm just going to trim off any excess. And again, if there's a bit of an overlap, it doesn't really matter. And I'm just going to go all the way around here with my fingers and just press it down either side of where the tape stuck originally. So now I've got two tape to bring sets. The next thing we need to do is take off the red um, outside of the tape. This is like a double sided tape. Um, the best thing to do first is to take off the tape from this one and place it so this um, lamp carrier is actually touching the table. What this means is if you basically, if you place this one down, having taken the red tape off, it's gonna stick to the table. So if you take this one off first, find the end of the tape. Okay, just pull that all the way around. We can 
place that carrier down because it's not going to stick to anything. Okay, I'm just going to swap over the ring sets and the fabric panel that we prepared earlier. So we'll place that one there. And then I'm going to take off this tape once I've found the end. Okay. Now don't place this one on the table because it's just going to stick to everything. The next stage, we need to start to place the ring sets onto the fabric panel. So again, if you've got a directional design like the badger, like the black bird, or any of the birds, the kingfisher, um, just make sure you know where the top of the shade is and where the bottom of the shade is. So I'm going to place it with the design going down towards me. Now I'm going to make, uh, because this is a larger 30 centimetre shade, I'm going to make a ceiling lamp shade, which means this plain circular ring needs to go on the bottom and this with the carrier needs to go on the top. Now this inverted piece here needs to point inwards towards the middle of the shade. So for me, I'm going to pop this one on the top and this one on the bottom. Now, I'm just put that down for one second, stick into my hands. Uh, I'm going to start by placing this one onto the adhesive lining. Now, what you want to do when you place this onto the shade, you want it to go right to the very edge of the lining, but not onto the fabric. Okay, so I'm going to place this just on the bottom. I'm going to attempt to show you whereabouts this is placed. So you can see it's not on the fabric, but it's right up to the edge of that adhesive lining. I would recommend you try and leave yours on the table. I'm going to try and pick it up just to show you because um, I realise the camera's a little bit further away. Now, when you've placed this, just roll it backwards and forwards a little bit, just so it make sure it's stuck. And then you want to take this, again, that inverted piece needs to point to inwards towards the middle of the lampshade. And this is the tricky bit. This is where you kind of need two hands. And um, so you're going to place this one again on the top, right up against the edge, that adhesive lining, but not touching the fabric. Again, at any stage, if you've kind of gone a bit wonky, you can peel it back. That's not a problem. Okay, and now what we need to do is move these two rings across, about three quarters of the way across, little bit by little bit. So, like I say, I've made quite a few of these, so I can kind of do it them both at the same time. But you might want to move the bottom one first a little bit, and then the top one. Just check in that it's right up against the edge of that plastic heat proof lining. So again, the top, moving the bottom, moving the top. What you can see now when we get so far is it will sort of stand up by itself so you can kind of let go. Um, so we can see here that this piece is running right up against this plastic uh, and running right up against the edge of the heat proof lining here. But we've still got this fabric edge either side to roll over. So I'm going to take it to about here. Again, I can kind of do this both at the same time because I've made quite a lot of these, but maybe just move the bottom one a, a fraction and the top one a fraction. Again, if oh, I've done a little bit AWOL actually here, yeah. if we go a little bit AWOL, just take it back. It's only double sided tape. Again, it's really important that you get this really, really accurate. Don't be worried about pushing the rings a little bit as well, moving them in as you go. Okay, so I've got about three quarters of the way round. Now, this is where that little tiny roll of see-through double-sided tape comes in handy. This is a pre-warning, so this is not in the pack. So when you look at the instruction sheet and say what's included, I've actually added this in extra for you. So, unravel the tape. Yours will be sized correctly. Might need to trim a little bit, a bit off. You'll have a piece when you've unraveled it that looks something like this. Now, this is really, really sticky tape. Super, super sticky. Um, this isn't ordinarily included in the pack, but I've included this in the pack for you because we're using a cotton drill. Uh, all my fabric's printed in the UK. Um, but to make sure that it's washable, because uh, I make a lot of other homewares and giftware that needs to be washed, um, to make sure it's washable, it's also then coated on the outside. Now, 
it, you will see that they recommend using this red double-sided tape along the hem of the lampshade. Now this will work, but in some cases, um, it has sort of pulled away at the seam a little bit. So I've used this very, very sticky double-sided tape. Um, you'll see it's sticking to my fingers now. Um, if you don't have this or you've thrown it away or lost it, don't worry, this will be just fine. Because especially once you've rolled the hem, it will keep everything nice and tight. Uh, and this just sticks the seam down. So on whichever edge you have left over, I'm gonna place this tape along there. And again, pretty much right up to the edge you want to take it. And you want to go, I'll just show you, off the edge of the heat proof lining, right off the edge of the fabric. And then I'm just gonna trim it at the edge of the fabric. Stick it over there. And again, I'm gonna do the same on this side. So this tape here, if we just press it down, is all the way along the very, very edge that we haven't yet rolled. Okay, I'm gonna take these rings a little bit further and roll them almost, not quite, but almost, to the very edge. Okay, so I'm just leaving about 10 centimeters or so there. And at this point, then I'm gonna take off this backing of this very, very sticky double-sided tape. Place that over there. Okay. So now I'm going to roll my lampshade right up to the edge. Okay, right on to the seam line. And I'm just going to take my hands and gently rub that there, sticking that raw edge to the edge of the side. So we've completed our full lampshade. And what you'll see here is the pattern the pattern never will match up because we've got different size shades or we've sized um, this for some of them and it won't matter but it, that's irrelevant that doesn't really matter but you see we've got this really lovely edge to our lampshade okay so again this is for a ceiling lampshade so we can see the ring carrier is at the top with the struts inverted inwards uh, and at the bottom we've got our plain circle uh, frame. Okay, so we're nearly there. So the next thing that we need to do, just gonna move it up a little bit. So the next thing that we need to do is to snip away where these struts are. So we see we've got one, two, three struts here. So where the strut is, take our scissors, just snip the fabric down to the ring on all three sides. Okay. Once we've done that, we can just use our fingers and just roll over the edge. Don't worry about pressing it inwards. All we're doing at this stage is just rolling it in. We can see by not giving that turned over seam, because we've got a cotton drill, we'll get a really nice flat non-frayed edge. But it also doesn't leave us loads of bulk here. So just rolling over that edge here, all the way around. And then we're going to do the same on the bottom side as well. So just rolling over that edge all the way around. I'm just going to move my So just start on one side and roll it all the way around. Okay. The next thing we need to do is take our rolled edge tool. And first of all, I'm gonna just move you a little bit further forward. 